Hi, this is Allison from the University of Minnesota Extension, and today we're going to look at how to add a title screen and a closing screen to your video projects. And so these are just branded title screens and closing screens uh, that will say Minnesota Extension uh, and let people know where your video is coming from. And so we ask you to do this if you're making kind of a more polished video to put up on YouTube and uh, just to kind of brand it and, and let people know where it's coming from. So what you'll need is an edited video project, and so I've got a sample here of a fully edited video project. This is sort of the last thing you do when you're finalizing your project. And the other thing you'll need, um, I've got all my project files together, I've saved them all in the same folder, and I also downloaded this video graphics um, PowerPoint file which you can access on the extension intranet. Um, on the communications portion of the extension intranet under video you'll find this file and download that and it's a PowerPoint file and we'll use that to actually make the slides uh, that we'll insert into the video project. So the logic behind this is basically we go ahead and edit the text of the title screen and the final screen in PowerPoint and then we'll save it off as an image file because Windows Movie Maker, which we're using, it requires you to have image files before you can insert them into the project. So we're basically using PowerPoint to generate image files, and then those image files are what we can put into our timeline here at the beginning and at the end of our project. So to do that, I'm going to open up that PowerPoint template that we have, and you'll see you have a lot of options for slides. You're going to go ahead and use the first, first slide here to write a title. Um, so my video here is about um, the Minnesota State Fair. I'm just going to type that in here. And it's a history video, so I'll call it Minnesota State Fair Through the Ages. Okay, now all I have to do is save off just this slide, but not as a PowerPoint format, but actually in a PNG image format. That's kind of the recommended format for you. And this slide is designed so it's um, perfect, the perfect width to fit into a widescreen video. So all you have to do to do that is click File here, Save As. Oh, and before you do that, just make sure that you have this slide highlighted, the slide that you're wanting to export. So we're just going to do the title slide for now. Make sure it's highlighted here. And then again, do File, Save As. And under this section that says Save As Type, instead of PowerPoint, choose the PNG, like I said before. That's sort of the recommended format, and that will scale really nicely for your use in our video project. And I'm going to give it the name uh, title slide and hit save. Now here, all you have to do is choose, it's going to ask you if you want to export every slide in the presentation or just this first slide that we have selected, the current slide selected. And right now, we just want to um, select this current slide and save that as an image so we can put it straight into our video project. So I'm going to choose current slide only and it will save it. And it won't give you any indication that it's actually saved, just trust. Um, but we'll go ahead and pull that straight into our video project right now. All right, so I'm going to minimize PowerPoint. Back in our video project here, I'm going to go ahead and move the playhead to the beginning of the project because that's where we want to insert that image that we just made. And then you go ahead and click Add Videos and Photos. And you'll see that um, I saved off the image. And here it is. It's title slide saved as a PNG image. So I'm going to choose that and open it up. Up, and it popped a little later in my timeline, so all I have to do is just go and grab that and drag it back to the beginning. And now you see I've got the uh, title slide right here, nice little title screen at the very beginning of the video. By default, uh, you'll notice that I'm going up to Video Tools and Edit here. We're going to check kind of the default settings of how it imported. You'll notice it came in for a duration of seven seconds. That's Windows Movie Maker's default duration, seven seconds. If you wanted a little shorter, um, go ahead and change that. I'd kind of suggest something like five seconds here. Great. Now, all you'd have to do, um, we've got our title slide in there. Wonderful, it'll show up for five seconds, and then it will slip over into the video. You can preview that really quickly. And all you have to do is go ahead and do that for, there we go, transitioned over. Um, also do that for the end, the final closing slide, and that's that copyright slide that we want to put in there. So you do the same thing. I'm going to go back to PowerPoint. And that slide is further down the list at the very end here. One more slide to do. For this slide, all you have to do uh, is edit this year right here to list the current year. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I happen to be in 2014 right now when I'm recording this. So I'm going to put 2014, and that's all you have to do to edit this slide. 
and we're going to do the same process again. Make sure that this slide is highlighted because we just want to export this slide as an image and then do file, save as, change the type over to PNG and I'm going to just call this closing slide and save that off. And again, export the current slide only. It'll spin a little bit, won't give you any indication that it's saved, but it's there and you can go back and import that into the video here. I'm not going to do that right now, but one other thing I'll show then is let's say you have this um, title slide right here, but you want a little bit of uh, background music behind it, just a little kind of catchy tune at the beginning to catch people's attention. You can also add a little bit of music underneath that. To do that, head over to this button here, record narration, but click the down arrow next to it and choose add a sound. And I've already saved off this uh, sound that you can get from the U Relations website, this Driven to Discover audio. It's just a little clip of some um, Driven to Discover kind of audio sound that you can add there. Uh, you can add your own music though as well. So I'm going to put that in there. And here I've got my audio. It's a little long though, so I'm going to play through it and I'm going to pause it when it reaches the end of my title slide because you'll see that this audio actually pushed out, the clip itself is longer than my title slide last. So I'm going to cut off right here where the end of the slide hits the, uh, hits the next video. And all I have to do is make sure that my um, audio here is selected. I'm going to go into narration tools. And again, we're just clipping off this, this little tune at the beginning. And I'm going to set that end point there. So set end point, and you'll see it will cut it off right at the end of there. So it just trimmed off the end of that and that's where I'm finalizing it and then I will have some nice audio underneath my title screen here and then it will transition to my video and play through the video. Okay, so that's all you need to do to add in a title screen, a closing screen, and a little bit of audio underneath both of those. Alright, thanks for listening.